Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. And good morning. We've had clouds on the increase in the overnight hours, and this morning we've actually been tracking some returns on the radar. But much of what you're seeing closer to home here really isn't reaching the ground just yet. On our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, we're picking up just a few areas getting some returns this morning. Now, I'm not saying there might not be a sprinkle or two, but as for rain actually coming down, that's still out to the west of us, and we're going to have to saturate all levels of the atmosphere before we actually transition to some showers. It's not bad temperature wise for this time of the year in the morning. These temperatures are above average at 52 in Terre Haute, Greencastle, Paris, a couple up for upper 40s down to the south as you can see. So again, our dew point temperatures are pretty far away from where the actual air temperature is. Still seeing dew points in the 30s this morning. And so what that indicates is that the surface, the air is still pretty dry. So it's going to take some time for that moisture falling through the atmosphere to actually reach the ground in the form of rain. So as you head out the door this morning, probably not going to have to deal with showers early, but as the afternoon continues, we are going to watch rain developing. So you may want to grab those umbrellas before you leave the house. Temperatures will get into the 60s today. Seasonable as far as air temperatures, but there will be a breeze factored in as we go through the day today. And again, that just sort of adds to that cool feel, especially as we start to get some rain developing and we won't see a ton of sunshine shine today either. So wind speeds will be at about 15 to 20 miles per hour out of the southwest initially until that front comes through and then we're going to get a changing wind. So that frontal boundary again this morning we're ahead of that now and we are seeing a few returns. But as we get into the afternoon and evening hours, rain showers become far more likely. So I do think it'll be a wet into our day after starting in most locations dry. Dry midweek both Wednesday and Thursday but then warm air starts to press into the area and along that warm frontal boundary on Friday, we may end up with some rain, especially later in the day. We'll get into the weekend and hold in an unsettled pattern, which means scattered showers and maybe a few embedded thunderstorms as we start our Saturday, later Saturday into Sunday and even Sunday into Monday, we're going to hold on to some rain chances. No day of washout each of those days, the opportunity for some rain and temperature wise, Things are looking up if you want that warm weather back. We're going to reinforce cooler air for midweek. So tomorrow, just a little bit cooler than today. But then the warm up begins as we end the week and head into the weekend. And really, even into early next week, after we cool slightly as we get into Monday and Tuesday, we think temperatures only continue to progressively get warmer, which means we're going to end the month of April and start the month of May with an above normal pattern across much of the country things are going to feel summer like once again for today. Temperatures kind of cool, especially when you factor in that breeze and rain will be developing today. So don't forget your umbrellas before you leave the house, especially if you have a long day ahead. Later tonight, rain ends overnight. We become partly cloudy, a little cooler to start tomorrow morning in the 40s versus the 50s where we are now. We'll be dry midweek. As I said, just a little bit cooler, seasonable Thursday, warming nicely into the weekend as you can see, but dealing with some scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms starting Friday and lasting into Monday.